guys, welcome back to another Cavapoo um, puppy video. I have with me right here Alfred. Um, Archie is on the floor and I'm sure he will jump up here any second. Um, but if you guys aren't familiar, this is our new puppy, Alfred. He is just so stinking cute. Um, but it is his nap time, so he's probably just going to rest next to me. Um, that is like one of my favorite times is when he's super cuddly. But anyway, where are you trying to go? Okay, he found a spot. So if you guys have not seen, oh, hey, you're okay. Come here. Do you want down? Do you want to right here? Okay, so anyway, sorry. If you guys have not seen my video, Cavapoo Pros and Cons, I highly recommend checking that one out. Um, but today I wanted to do something that is a little different than that one. Um, I kind of wanted to really dive deep into who these dogs are and their personality traits and not so much like the pros and the cons of them, but just like who they are. Um, what? You went down? laying together okay so I wrote them all down which I feel like I normally use my phone but I'm actually recording on my phone today so whatever um so I'm just gonna kind of list them off and explain um why they're like this and these are the personality traits of my two Cavapoos they definitely have a few differences and they have their own personality and they are just so unique but so similar um it's hard to explain but Hey, Alfred, no, Alfred. He's like trying to chew on the leg of my nightstand, but also lick it when I tell him no. Hey, okay, I'm back. Um, so the first one I wanted to start out with is one of my favorite things about the Cavapoos is that they are so loving. Um, they give you so much love, so much unconditional love, just the most passionate lovers. Um, and it is just the best feeling ever to come home and have this dog that is just like so excited to see you, just wants to give you so many kisses, just loves you so hard. Um, it is seriously amazing. That sounds like so basic, like, oh yeah, your dog loves you. But I mean, you have to think about it. Not every dog loves every human and they are just lovers. They just love everyone. Um, so my next one is, they are extremely loyal. Um, now don't take that the wrong way. They're loyal to you in a very good way, in a very healthy way. Um, they will listen to you. They will praise you. They want to make you happy. They know that you're the mom or the dad and they just, they are just loyal to you and to giving you love. Um, now that doesn't mean that they will be aggressive or mean towards anyone else. Um, they don't have the negative side effects of being extremely like loyal, um, but they are very, very loyal dogs. And I will say with Archie, so Archie is the older one, um, he is even more loyal to me than he is to Anthony. Um, and that's because he just like recognizes me as his mom and like I am his person. He comes to me when he feels scared. Um, and just knows that like I'm his mom, but he's very loyal to me, but that doesn't mean that he's not loyal to Anthony. It's just like in a different way. Okay, the next one, which if you would have seen these two dogs like five minutes ago, they are so playful. It is like, they just will play together all the time. They love to play with other dogs. They love to play with other kids. Um, they love to play with you. They just want to play. They just want to, um, like they're just happy, playful dogs. And that doesn't mean that they are super high maintenance, but when they play, oh, they play. And it is so dang cute. And they're very, um, they're not aggressive players. They know their limits and they will just play for hours and then they crash really hard. And that's what they're doing literally right now. <laughs> um, oh. This is one of my favorite ones. They are so cuddly. And it's funny, Archie will be 
extremely cuddly and then he'll have times where he's like oh mom I just like want to be alone but Alfred is even more cuddly than Archie and they are just so cute and Alfred will literally like try to like sleep on my head and stuff and it's hilarious but they will lean against you they're big leaners um which typically that means that they are very dependent on you and that they trust you and kind of like if you were to do a trust fall that's what they're doing they're leaning into you and I think it's really really precious um but yeah they are so cuddly and just so uh, when they get tired they are like the most adorable thing I have ever seen I wish they were like on the bed so you could see them maybe I'll put them up here hang on how about you sit in my lap for this okay um so now that I have our little cuddly boy Archie's still on the floor. He likes to lay on the tile. Um, okay, so my next one is Goofy. Um, they are the most goofy dogs I've ever met. They do the funniest things. They have just the goofiest personality. And it just like makes me laugh all the time. Um, I wish I was good at giving examples, but I'm really not. Um, but like, okay, I'll try to give one. For example, like Archie will literally like hop around, but like he hops like sideways and his legs are like flopping and his ears are going. And like when he's super excited, he's just like, literally his butt will go this way and his head goes this way. And he's like, he can't control himself. And it is the goofiest thing I've ever seen. And it is so, just so adorable. Um, and I honestly love that about them. I love how goofy they are, how much they make you smile when they're you're just watching them do like, random things you're like why are you like that but it's just so cute that you just love them so much um the next one is gentle and this is something that i guess surprised me about them is they are very gentle dogs when they know they need to be i mean they're naturally gentle but um when they're around like kids or when archie is around like smaller dogs puppies like he changes the way he acts um he will be a lot more gentle he is just more aware of the situation um and if he like when him and alfred are playing and if he plays a little too hard with alfred and he makes a little yip archie will like back off and be like whoa i'm sorry like i didn't mean to do that and it's it's so sweet and um they're like that with like older people as well um just so gentle and aware of the situation which i think is super unique about these dogs um and i'll kind of touch on more about this in another like topic that i have but it just makes them really great. You don't really have to worry about who they're around because you know that they're going to act well. Um, so going off of that is that they are great family dogs. They one, love the commotion. They love all the movement. They love people. They love having a ton of people in the house. They love having kids in the house. Um, they love having just all sorts of people, all sorts of action happening. And they will love every single family member and they will be so kind and so gentle and just great family dogs. Um, if you have a baby, they are super like gentle and aware with babies and it is, it was so cute. So my friend was here and she's pregnant and Archie literally wrapped his body around her belly and he like knew that she was pregnant and I think he was like protecting her belly and it was like just the cutest thing ever. And it literally just made my heart melt. Um, and I just cannot ex like express, stress, express, I don't know, enough, like how these are just awesome family dogs. And I will say there are some dogs out there that I would be hesitant to get if I had kids um, or, you know, people that I felt like just, I know that these dogs are going to be okay with whoever they're with and that makes me feel good. Hi, sweetie. You're on my lap or where are you trying to go? He likes to burrow. He like wants to like dig his face in. Um, so another awesome trait is that they are very welcoming. Uh, any single person that walks through our door, they are like so excited to see, so happy. They're like, oh my God, like you're here to see me. Like they just start freaking out. And it is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. They get excited to literally see anyone. Hi, baby. Um, and it is just so nice to come home to somebody that's 
excited to see you that just makes it a big event like you come home you might have literally left to go to the gas station for like two minutes and then you come back and they're still so excited to see you and you're like oh you're so pure you're like the best thing ever and just makes your day um another trait is that they are not territorial um so what i mean by this hi baby yeah, you've got boogies in your eyes um so what i mean by this is that they will let people in their house so i know that kind of goes off of like welcoming but um a lot of dogs are not like that like they will be hesitant when other people come in the house um so like strangers and stuff they're not like that at all they will let other dogs in the house kids um they won't feel like they need to guard you or the house there are some dogs out there that feel like they need to protect their owners um even from people that they don't need to be protected from and i think that going with like being a family dog and um, a very welcoming dog also comes with that they're not super territorial and that they just welcome anyone in any space and that's just something that i really love about them it's an awesome personality trait it makes them just a very gentle loving dog um so going off of that is that they are not aggressive um, so that's a little different than territorial, but, um, let's say somebody like, like if they feel threatened or something, they will never like attack someone. Um, and so maybe they're not like the best like guard dog, <laughs> but, um, you know, I, me personally, I didn't want a dog to be a guard dog. I wanted a dog to love and to, um, bring around places and just like, brighten everyone's day and that's what they do um they have never bitten anyone they've never shown any signs of aggression and some of that can come from how you train them but every kavaku i've met is just so gentle and kind and there is zero aggression in them um and sometimes it's hard to know if your dog's aggressive because if you don't bring them around people that they don't know then maybe they won't show signs of that but um, I can bring them out in public and just, I literally don't worry about them. Um, kids can pet them and I know that they will be okay. Um, and some of that can come from like the breeder as well and the processes that they put the dogs through when they're babies. But um, generally there is not much aggression in these dogs and they are very, very, very calm. Um, so I get asked about this a lot. They are, I would, classify them as a mid energy dog so they will play hard they'll go for walks um, i've taken them for hikes but they do not like to go for long hikes so i would say maximum like as a full-grown dog would be like two miles but that doesn't mean that they require the two miles so that's why i say they're like mid energy so they don't require um you to take them for a walk every single day although they enjoy it and that they have like a a ton of fun doing it um and they will play during the day but then they will nap hard like this where some dogs are constant energy constantly going um they have their play times and then they have their nap times and and then there's times where they're just chilling wandering around but they do not demand exercise they do not demand runs or anything they just want to play to have fun but they aren't super high energy um and they're also not super lazy dogs as well so i just I just threw my pen. Um, I just put them right in the middle um, because if you want them to be energy, they will. And if you want them to be chill, they will. Um, so another awesome personality trait is that they are very adaptive. So what I mean by that is like when we moved homes, Archie totally got it. He moved here. He's like, okay, this is my home. Like he figured out his routine, routine very quickly. He was potty trained that he didn't. Some dogs, when you move, will go back on their potty training. Um, we can bring him to different homes and he, you know, understands like the general rules, you know, like don't potty in the house, don't chew on things, don't act up. Um, he doesn't do any of that. And then we left, um, our house here for like six weeks to travel and he was so good at it. He would travel, he would stay in hotel rooms, like he just gets it. So I think that's really awesome, especially if you are renting or not in a permanent home or just on the move more they are super adaptive that you can take them for car rides bring them into restaurants and stores like i don't know if your area that you live in allows that but the one that i do does and they just go with the flow 
um, and it's awesome and I don't really have to um, worry about them too much and they make it easy to travel as well so if we wanted to travel with them I know that they're gonna be okay another one and I feel like I kind of mentioned this but they are very caring and sensitive so for example when I was um, back home with my family for a while my niece was fake crying on the couch and Archie was like oh my gosh like he went up to her he was so concerned the look on his face was like are you okay like what can I do he was like trying to like figure her out being like oh my god like what's wrong and I was like oh that is like the sweetest thing ever like he just totally gets you and your feelings and everyone else's feelings and they just understand and like if you're having a bad day they'll be right next to you just comforting you or um they just like totally they can read your mood and it's insane he can read my facial expressions so if i'm smiling like he'll smile back at me and like be happy or if like i'm upset he'll just kind of be like okay like you know like what's going on like what can i do like just kind of like adjusting to like our moods um and it's it's nice to have it's nice to have that he cares and he understands and that um just very comforting i guess and then <laughs> the last one that i wrote down is adorable because obviously these guys are literally so dang adorable everything they do like i'm just like oh they're so perfect like how do they get so lucky they're so cute they do the cutest things they have the best personalities they are just seriously the best dogs ever and i am not saying that because i'm biased and i have two of them but i seriously think that they are the most loving and kind and caring and playful like everything that you would want in a dog these dogs have um and i love it and i have so much fun with them and they just make my heart so happy um so if you are considering getting a cavapoo and all of this sounds like something that you want then they are definitely the perfect fit um i will say like i mentioned in the pros and cons video they like you to be home more often than not so definitely something to consider because while you want to be happy, you also want them to be happy. So if you haven't watched that video, I would definitely go watch it. It'll help you decide if they're the right dog for you. But um, I think they are seriously the best dogs ever. And they are just awesome. like, what is this? Like so goofy. What is that pose? Your head's like, <laughs> but anyway, if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I try to be really good about replying to all of my comments. Um, and if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It just helps me, helps me know that you like it, kind of figuring out what content you guys want. Um, and also please subscribe. That would be awesome. I have so many other Cavapoo and dog videos coming out and I have just been enjoying creating on here. And I feel like I have such an awesome, um, followers and you guys are also kind and so loving and I feel like we're creating this really great community where we can talk to each other support each other um so I am just loving what we're creating here so if you want to be a part of it please subscribe I would love it um but yeah I hope you guys all have a great day should I wake them up to say bye I don't really think he wants to be moved but anyway um I hope you guys have a great day I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful um, I know that these are just the personality traits of my dog. So if your dog is Calico and has other personality traits, also leave those in the comments below because um, other people, <coughs> ooh, other people might find that helpful as well. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I think that's all I have to say. <laughs>